some uh, activities in the countryside around the lake, and then Mount Stanzerhorn, which sits southern, I think it's the southern shore of the lake, and there's an overlook up there. So hopefully we get some good shots today for you from that location. Thanks for sticking around. Day seven starts now. My name is David Carrier. I'm a passionate entrepreneur who founded a business in 2007 with a multi-million dollar exit in 2021. I've been a global sales manager, manufacturer, CEO, private pilot, and now I'm semi-retired. My daughter Stephanie is a former NBA employee turned successful real estate agent. In early 2023, we started QuantumFly Capital Group, a real estate investment firm specializing in multifamily investments. More than anything, we're here to show you that retirement is not as far away as you think, and we want to help you get there. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy the videos. Okay, breakfast in Lucerne. Breakfast with a view. Day eight, here we are in the tiny little hamlet of Giswil, Switzerland, <laughs> in the uh, foothills of the Bernina Pass and the, and the, the, uh, the glaciers up there. Um, we're going on a little uh, horse and buggy ride today through the farmlands, so it should be kind of fun. Come on along for the adventure today. <laughs> I, I, hey, I've got a, every angle covered here. Every I didn't think it was that every one. <laughs> you ready? Double D? I mean, you're beaming with excitement this morning. <laughs> John. <laughs> Bobby, I got your feet. I want to make sure we get all the angles here. This is the way to go. No, no uh, car noises. Look at that. Bernina Pass. That's some cool hills, too. The only way to see the German countryside is by horse and horseback. Yeah, this was 2005. Ooh. It's a dangerous ride. And the village 1629 was the village was here. And then you have a whole flooded, whole village, go, go, whole the, the whole village was swept away. It looks like maybe that little walk bridge did survive it. You know, that's what happens when you have too much snow in the mountains. Get this flooding. So that was one of the floods. 1629, it destroyed the village. It flooded again in 2005 and leave. And it's basically left this path of rocks and debris that is still here wow this is what a flood can do right here some devastation you just see the, the whole track all the way up and just strewn all over the place down here and of course you know the river the brook it just finds its way and makes a new path all right now we're walking to the Evidently the church or the remains of the church that was swept away by this flood in 1629. About a five minute walk there, so we're gonna go 
see what remains. I mean, you know, 1629. That was a few years back, don't you think, Double D? Yeah. Well, that was so, cool. Right. Right. By your time. So we'll see what uh, what's left. But in the meantime, great views. Beautiful out here. This is Switzerland in late summer. Did that flood reach this area, do you know? Well, or did it stay? It destroyed the, the, the village which would have been here. So whether this was, I'm not sure about that. I'm talking about the 2005 flood. Did it stay yes. confined to that area? Confined in that area? Yeah. It's pretty country out here. It's just so serene and so beautiful. Cleared areas up there in the mountain. Just gorgeous. friendly here in this tour. Johnny, <laughs> here's the sprayer bill. <laughs> that downtown Lucerne. Little cosmopolitan, little old school charm. A lot of very beautiful sights and a very clean, I might add, city. Make sure you obey this uh, cross walks because you will get run over in this city. Hey, don't mess around. Well, they live here, so. So the river here separates the relatively new from the relatively old. And we're walking toward Old Town now. Of course, there is the old bridge. The old bridge that was rebuilt in the 90s when it burned down, but Still the old bridge, the tower is still there, the octagon tower in the center, formerly used as a prison, various other reasons. This is, this is what you would call old world charm. Once again, the historic bridge, but now during the day. Can't ask for a better day. Okay, we're standing up here, three of us, at the top of the rooftop 360 panoramic view bar. I wouldn't say this is exactly 360, but nevertheless, it does give you a good view of the city out here. You know, we've got the uh, old area out here looking up the hill. And as we move around, see the old walls out there. The city was completely surrounded by walls in the olden days so that wouldn't get invaded by the evil Germans or whoever was invading. I guess 800 years ago, it was the, uh, I can't remember the name of the, the name of the people she used, but great vistas here of the whole city and uh this is a happening kind of place here in lucerne what do you think about the rooftop bar the, the rooftop bar is more like a hot 180 barely 180 degree view i wouldn't call it 360. But that's okay we got up here we broke in we jarred the door open and we got these shots just for you so years. don't forget to like and subscribe So this is very similar to uh, to the uh, San Francisco trolleys, right? 
Yes. The, the cable. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The cable part. So this cable car is 130 years old. I have not looked up how old the San Francisco one is. Similar. Oh, smells yeah, really they're old. pretty. They're pretty old. <laughs> Which one smells better? This one. This one. Yeah. <laughs> well, just wait. There might be some um, Alpine perfume that oh. you might be smelling in a little while. It's not bad though. Yeah. Know what I mean by alpine perfume, right? Yeah. <laughs> the cows are on the hill. Yeah, no, uh, the, the manure, spreading the manure yeah. for fertilizer. But they originate. It originates from the cows. That's right, <laughs> from the local cows. Back yeah. to giving, giving back to the land. Yeah. There's three alpacas over there. You see two heads resting. Alpacas. Alpacas. Yes, they're on the other side of that little quantum hut. Yeah, okay. Should we go? Pylons, you can feel, you know, a little bit of oh, yeah. It's pretty, it's pretty, it's, we're not going to swing, don't worry. Thank God for that. This thing's huge. And the people went all up at high. <laughs> 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 I don't know. No. Anyway, great views. I never uh, expected this. I was, you know, when we saw this morning, that rain and not I rain, know. but it's all very dark and distant. It's not okay. the first one, it's the second yeah. one. I can't even put into words <laughs> what this view is like behind me. Oh, about 6,000 feet above the valley here in Lucerne. And then just everywhere you look, I mean, you can see so far into the distance, almost the majority of the Alps. But some great views. Uh, down there in the valley, we have Pilatus aircraft. For those of you that are familiar with the turboprop and the jet. And this is where they start. They come from right behind me, right in that runway. So anybody who owns a Pilatus. But wow, is all I can say. If you ever get a chance to come to Switzerland, come. Make sure you get to the top of Mount Stanzerhorn, where I'm standing. Phenomenal view. Look, they got these lights. I wonder if they kind of... Yes, that's important. What you doing? What's up, dude? Hey. Why are you so pissed off? You gonna stare me down? <gasps> hey, beep, 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 beep. Hello. Hi. Can you see any of our 
roof up there? No, no, it's just me. Just you. All right, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, there's no one. That's good because we. Um, so you're going up. <laughs> the man said, um, "Can we go to the top of the mountain?" Yeah, come in this way. Yeah, come in this way. Come on, come on. That's the thing. It's just in and out. Yeah, it's all right. 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 Yeah, it's all right.
travel passes. That means we can go on the train, we can go on the bus, we can go on the boats for a mere 26 bucks a person. Really, when you think about it, it's probably pretty reasonable because you'd spend that much on a you'd spend that much on a taxi cab. So. Let's see what Zurich has to hold for us today. Day nine. Ah, uh, yes. Zurich. Crossroads of the financial world. It's not unusual as you look around the Zurich crater facility. You see people coming and going. You see uh, clueless Americans standing around <laughs> waiting for trains. It's just a, it's a melting pot of different backgrounds, different. Yeah, so last few hours of uh, actual vacation. Try to make the most of it here in Zurich. Let's see if we can get on one of these little boats, go through the canal. We do have our ticket and our ticket is good for all sorts of transportation, whether it be train, bus, boat. So uh, we're gonna give it a try. Ladies and gentlemen, fortification alert. There it is. There's clearly an apparent fortification. For those of you playing alongside the home game, it's time to take a shot. One more, he's right on top of Cannonball. <coughs> Cannonball coming. Hey. Oh, yeah. Pose. <laughs> love, the, love the pose. Pose. I think we're near Old Town. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Welcome to Zurich. Old Town Zurich, you can see by the architecture, we are looking for the river. Very old world charm. Time to go home. So first time on the United First Class accommodations. Um, so, so, uh, nothing to complain about. It's relatively comfortable it's kind of narrow to get into the seat um, but quite frankly this is the first uh, time I've actually slept for a couple hours on an airplane coming over here so pretty good uh, from that perspective seat lays flat you can see here got a lot of room in the area this whole table that pushes in and out um, lots of movies, TV shows, and um, all in all, I'd say decent. Uh, nothing to write home about, but uh, you know, it's it's comfortable. It's comfortable and I can sleep, so all good. Um, we're heading back. Vacation's over. Uh, we look forward to the next outing, which will be probably. Uh, Vegas another month. I'm gonna go out there and see a couple shows and uh, you know as usual enjoy ourselves. Uh, we were, my wife and I were married in Vegas so we love going back there. And then uh, the uh, Mexican Riviera next year. So uh, that'd be like February, March 2024. Um, for now uh, this part of our journey is done and we're headed home.